Hello everyone, this is Harshita Bhargav from Chitkara School of Hospitality and in this session we are going to learn about strategic management. And the topic we are going to cover in this session is corporate level strategic alternatives which means that what are the different strategic alternatives which are available to a corporate in order to achieve its goals and objectives. There are three levels of strategy formulation which are corporate level, business level and functional level. That means at every level of a business organization strategies are formulated and in our syllabus we are going to learn about corporate level strategies. So these are different corporate level strategies which are stability strategies, expansion strategies, retrenchment strategies and combination strategies. These four kinds of strategies comes under corporate level strategy. Now corporate level strategy means the top level strategies of a business or in other words these strategies are formulated and implemented by top level management of an organization and top level management of an organization include general managers, CEOs, CFOs and all the departmental heads. So let's discuss them one by one. First is stability strategies. As the word state suggests that stability means to remain constant or to make no change at all in making plans or policies or strategies of a business. So let's discuss stability strategies in detail. A firm pursues stability strategies when it continues to serve the public in the same product or service which means that we can say stability strategies are implemented when we are serving the customers with the same products or services as we are providing till now. We were providing in the past also those products or services are being served to the customers or the public or various functional sectors also and it is also important to note here that a business defines its definition which means in a business definition a business defines what are its products what are its services who are its customers and who are its market segments so here in case of stability strategies the business definition of an organization remains the same over a period of time. In other words, we can also say that in stability strategies, we can only make incremental improvement of functional performance. We cannot permanently change or we cannot extensively change the product, services or our performance. We can just incrementally improve our performance in case of stability strategies. Now the question arises, why stability strategies? Why a business should always implement stability strategies? Reasons are, number one, they are less risky, they involve less changes, Moreover, people or employees of an organization feel more comfortable with the things as they are because it is the basic nature of a human being to revert or to exert the changes. So, stability strategies involve less changes so people will feel comfortable with the things as they are at present. Stability strategies would also be followed at those places where the business environment is relatively stable. In other words, 
the demand and supply of the product is stable enough to remain in the business next is expansion may be perceived as being threatening that's why stability strategies are being followed in a business because expansion is treated as threatening or it will damage or endanger the business existence that's why stability strategies are also followed moreover consolidation is sought through stabilizing after a period of rapid expansion that is also one of the important reasons why a business should follow stability strategies stability strategies are also known as no change strategies which means taking no decisions or taking decisions sometimes these strategies are relevant in a predictable and certain external environment and where stable organizational environment is available these strategies are most appropriate and these strategies are suitable for small and medium sized firms or in other words small and medium sized firms can rely upon stability strategies in order to continue with the business so in this session we have learned about stability strategies in next session we will learn about expansion strategies